So in the subject of hypothermia, part of the problem is they're not wearing the right headgear. It's not keeping the heat in their, their body by preventing this heat to escape through their scalp. Their gloves are not proper. They're not fitting well. They're not, um, they're not dry. Their boots are not waterproof. And they kind of go into it without being prepared. But some of, some of the other things that you can do to prevent it is to make sure that you're drinking plenty of liquids, getting the right amount of sleep, uh, proper nutrition, and taking periodic breaks and getting back inside the warmth to be able to recover uh, from the, the extreme cold before you go right back out again. So make sure you pace yourself. But some of the signs and symptoms of the beginning of hypothermia is uncontrollable shivering. That's one of the most common signs of hypothermia. We kind of take it that, oh boy, we're getting cold. I'm starting to shiver. Uh, no big deal. But in reality, it's your body's burning excess calories to try to produce heat by this, this autonomic nervous system reaction of shivering. From there, um, limbs are going to start to get cold. They could get real cold and rubbery on the outside, waxy-like, but they're still soft underneath. So it's not quite frostbite, but we're starting to go into frost nip and starting to proceed into the frostbite problems. And then as we continue to go into hypothermia, eventually all the symptoms of cold, the shivering, um, start to go away. But then the other signs and symptoms neurologically begin to kick in, like uh, confusion. I don't know where I'm at. I'm losing my direction. I'm not thinking correctly. In fact, I'm starting to have some anesthesia types of feelings. I'm getting to get warm and comfortable. I don't really care whether or not I freeze to death or not. I'm real tired. I can't seem to control my body functions. And that's when people just kind of lay down. And that's where you usually find them frozen. So shivering is the first sign. Don't let it get past that. Make sure you head into someplace nice and warm where you can get something, some liquids and to rewarm your body before you go back out again. Next subject we're going to cover is frost nip, frostbite, and how to treat that.